Hello viewers. Today we would be looking into Microsoft Intune built-in role-based access control management with Microsoft Intune. Uh, followed by we also work with the scopes and sco scope groups as well as a quick demo. So it's going to be a very big uh, lengthy one but uh, to make it short uh, you have a role-based access management means you have a predefined role. For example if you're a help desk admin you should be able to perform some kind of you know, help desk activities with your roles but in order to you know grant any kind of roles you need to be the member of the global admin or Intune service admin any of the role you must to have it once you have that permissions you should be able to perform admin specific role granting with the role based access control for your reference I will be uh, posting this link also in the uh, video description you can always check on it you can always navigate to tenant administration and roles uh, here you could see all the built-in roles are available like policy and profile manager school administrator so Intune provides built-in some of the roles so that the users if they are part of this built-in role they can perform their activities so within this demo we would be using the help desk tool or help desk admin role and we would clone on that so that you know we should be able to perform some activities so here you could see that in ppd there are close to 10 different built-in roles are available uh, you can go through it by pausing and of course you could even um, duplicate any of this role uh, and create as a custom role also so meaning you have a flex flexibility to start from a scratch or duplicate and add additional uh, specific permissions for the custom roles we would be doing that within this video so uh, as you can see here to duplicate you simply have to click on the three dots to duplicate that way you should be able to do it so in my case I'm just trying to do uh, a Redmond help desk as the role I would like to you know duplicate for my help desk guys who are located in Redmond so as you can see that uh, I can customize the options that are available here so in my case let's say I want additional features I want to you know grant them as a permission uh, within these categories I should be able to grant it so that's all about the custom configuration role so we would you know focus more on the specific to uh, scope tags in a minute uh, that's where the actual story comes into the picture we would you know definitely focus on that in a couple of minutes once we have created that duplicated that help disk group uh, let's uh, try to understand now scope tags and scope groups so ultimately uh, within this course uh, to grant some kind of a you know, custom configuration or custom requirement you need to be very clear with your role based access management which we learned in the previous two three minutes time and now we will be you know, focusing on the scope tags and scope groups later point we would uh, jump into the demo within this uh, video so as a first step uh, you understand already role ba role based access management you have a predefined roles you can duplicate and you can create so during the creation process you have something called a scope tags so scope tags imagine that it's like your OUs within your active directory just imagine that so it's, it's a placeholder or a container all those objects can be uh, tagged with a specific name that you provide so that you can easily identify within the Intune console and based on that automated policies and uh, security configurations can be applied from a rule based access point of view so that being said uh, if I just you know go back to uh, here any of the configuration profile so I just you know open some kind of a Windows configuration profile I wanted to assign a add group imagine my friends today if you target add group you can target to any damn group that is available within Microsoft Intune or within your intra groups right so how can you protect let's say there is an L1 guy he doesn't know uh, much about that AD groups but accidentally or intentionally or unintentionally he or she may target wrong AD groups or intra security groups that results lot of security concerns right 
imagine there is a application that you are pushing or maybe security policies configuration profiles uh, some blocking things or enabling things that results lot of issues right so you need to have a control even though it will show all the groups from Microsoft Entra when they try to add it should only limit to a specific groups uh, for that person who can grant meaning the admin should have a permission to target to that specific groups that's called the scope scoping or scope tagging groups and we would you know focus on that in a minute um, but let's see if I go to the accounts I could add it or to all AVD users that will impact lot of problems just in case if I target wrongly right so that's where the scope groups comes into the picture so scope groups is if you try to add a wrong group also it will not save it will say hey you don't have a permission you, you should be you know make sure that you should have a permission right permissions uh, so this entire demo we would you know focus something called a Redmond office so imagine there is a location called Redmond within this there could be some users some devices so they could be some admin um, so these admins should be only target any of the content from Microsoft engine portal to only these users or to these devices so what I will be doing is I would be you know, creating all Redmond users as a group as well as all Redmond devices group and also one additional group which can grant the RBAC permissions to perform activities called a Redmond help desk team example so Redmond help desk team and Redmond all users Redmond all devices once you have these groups you could easily configure for example as I said Redmond so this has your devices users listed within Microsoft Intune and uh, now you want you might have even very similar to Seattle just like that uh, there could be another location Seattle there could be some users some devices right so all that can be managed but I would be you know, creating there are two gr two groups we call these are the all Redmond users and all Redmond devices these are the groups I will have the objects that are located in Redmond so when I say all users in a Redmond whatever the users are there all of them will be part of this group similarly all the devices will be part of uh, from a Redmond will be part of this AD group now we target this two groups in the scope grouping okay and the permissions uh, will be granted for Redmond help desk team who can perform some actions so let's say I want to wipe the device I would be you know, granting a wipe or policy configuration changes to Redmond help desk team uh, who is the IT admin right but the, these are the normal users who are part of this additional group so we would be you not know, talking uh, in a minute but we have not talked about uh, scope tags we try to talk about the scope grouping so let's have a look in depth where these possible options are available so if you just go back to uh, same thing like you know tenant administration and the roles you have something called scope tags this is where you create a scope tag so click here and create by default if you see here there is a default um, tag will be there that means whatever you do within this console all the resources all the objects will be assigned as a default uh, scope tag meaning let's say uh, if I have a device assigned as a scope tag as Redmond and if I'm the Redmond IT admin I log into engine portal I will only see Redmond IT computers I will not be able to see anything else including the policies that are specific to uh, scope scope tag has as a Redmond that's what we are trying to implement so any admin from a Redmond if I have a permissions it should be only limited to see only that specific devices we shouldn't be able to uh, show all other devices this is a challenging or this is really a required 
configuration for any of the company because we don't want to expose all the devices for L1, L2 or for all the location people, right? You have to maintain that uh, reputation or you have to maintain that uh, secrecy. Now let's try to click on create to create a Redmond as the scope tag. So as I said, scope tag will be assigned to every device uh, if we assign that. So here I'm giving us Redmond and then in the assignments, I would you know give a group name so let's say uh, i have as i said earlier i have created a group called all redmond devices so what would happen is if a member of a computer is uh, belongs to this group or if it is a part of this group a device automatically that device will have a, a tag called redmond if you really don't know how to view whether the device has a tag or not in a couple of minutes i will be showing you my friends so assign click on create so that way this tag got created now you have something called a default as well as the redmond now this redmond is assigned to all uh, redmond devices group now let's go back to <clears throat> one of the devices uh, like uh, here if you see here there are two devices are there uh, for this demo one is from a usa redmond location uh, this is a pc02 and this uh, device is part of uh, the group that we have just added as the automated tackling purpose and uh, for this group the desktop uh, is not part of Redmond device so let's have a look on it how it looks like so the first one is the uh, non Redmond device if I just click on properties and you see here there's a tag uh, which is assigned as a default that's good now if I go back to other device which is from really from a Redmond location you see here uh, the tag is automatically got assigned this is how it would assign automatically so now you know the filtering option that means automatically this tagging would happen uh, for these all of these devices uh, for example uh, within america region uh, you have a ou called redmond and now within that uh, redmond all these devices are getting automated a uh, redmond as the tag now it's it becomes easy for us now the missing part is we have to grant only permissions to those devices right for the deployment that we would be doing it in a minute but in the meantime you can take any of the configuration profiles now or any of the resources you could actually assign the scope tag if you might have you know noticed um, within intune console any of the object like configuration profiles for example here you could assign remove the default tag and assign the redmond similarly you could do it for your update rings or complaints policies everywhere you could do wherever you are able to see the scope tags you should be able to do it and we are not talking about anything to do with this uh, assignment purpose we are talking about only the scope tag at this point of time that's it and in a minute we would you know talk about how to restrict for example in this case if you see for this configuration profile uh, we have already configured uh, to all redmond devices but we don't want to do that we wanted to uh, limit that only to apply for only redmond devices when i say we don't want we don't want to apply for seattle or maybe new york devices how to protect that that comes under scope tag grouping so which we would be you know or discussing in a minute for now i hope it become easy for you the scope tags if still you have it out you can see here the device is part of that uh, scope tag now go back to scope tags so now you know that this is a scope tag that is already available right now it's time for us to look at our scope grouping grouping we we did talk about grouping that there are two groups are there that groups must be scoped so that any of that policy let's try to understand about the scope tags so we did created in the a couple of minutes back about one of the role called redmond office help desk team and for that we would assign the permissions for help desk team at the same time uh, during the assignment process we would actually uh, add scope tags for these two user groups or two enter groups so for that what we do is open up this uh, role custom role that we have created and click on assignments 
so remember my friends we did created help desk team as a custom role or you could even work with your existing built-in roles also which we have a 10 different roles uh, that's fine uh, I'm gonna work with the custom role so I'll just you know uh, click on assignment and then when I add as an assignment it's a basic thing I'll just you know fill the name and later point in the admin groups this is where who is the admin so if you see here there are for this location that's Redmond location you have a group called a Redmond help this team example so they have full permissions so who are the member here is in this group there's something called admin at the rate memcourse.com is the uh, account that was added to this group which we would be you know, showing in a minute uh, and all the users are part of this Redmond users and all the devices that are part of Redmond devices uh, only belongs to the Redmond location so now uh, here admin role meaning on this role whatever the permissions have been granted what are those permissions like these are the permissions so if you see this is from a different um, window but if you just you know look at this is a custom role right so these all the permissions can be executed by a person who is a member in the assignment so that's what we are trying to add so here you could see here in the admin group we are adding one group that has a full permissions to perform help desk activities so I'm just you know taking here remote help desk team for a Redmond location and now this is very important my friends so the entire video is specific to the scope group so because this is the key I again repeat this is very key you just have to uh, make it the logic so the logic is on all of these activities you can perform I mean all these activities can be performed by Redmond help desk team however if any changes that are they want you know assign for example there is a application deployment packages there so you cannot assign I mean you have a permission to you know assign to anybody but we wanted to restrict that only to be assigned to only these two groups how do we do is that's what this demo so in this demo we know that these all the permissions has been granted now all Redmond users and the devices will be added in the scope tagging so here uh, scope groups we would add these two groups so that if any of the admin accidentally try to target it will not get deployed to other groups other than these two this is called the scope grouping and now the tags comes tagging is again we know that we, we did talk about in the couple of minutes back about the tags like we did gave the Redmond so I wanted to stick to the Redmond and then review the policy and create it this way now we have an assignment for your custom role the custom role name is Redmond office help desk team as a custom role that was created and for that we have assignment uh, called assignments you can have a multiple assignment so one of the assignment is Redmond help desk team that's a name we have given in a couple of uh, minutes back and there is a admin that's the Redmond IT help desk team and we also scoped tag uh, grouping scoping with the two you could see here uh, by clicking on here uh, very clearly this is the group included group who have the full permissions and these are the scoping groups so now we should be able to play as the Intune administrator from Redmond location so I might have to you know log in and you know walk with the Redmond user let's have a look on complaints policies there are two policies if you clearly notice uh, that only two out of that we will be changing the company owned device policy with Redmond tag so in the scope tags if you see here it has assignments all of that I'll simply change the scope tags to 
I cannot delete default, but once I added Redmond, I should be able to remove the default and save it. So this, once I saved it, assume that if I am the Intune admin uh, with the custom role assigned user, I should be only able to see instead of two, one. Similarly, I'm actually assigning some other uh, scope tags like Redmond for other configuration items also. So I'll take this um, specific Chrome settings one. It's already targeted as we can see. So there are scope tags default as well as a Redmond. So I'll simply add the Redmond and remove the default. Okay, so two changes I've done. And also I'll create a test policy uh, instead of you know, wasting some time here. And now if I go back to uh, a group called Redmond Help Desk Team, as you can see, admin user. So if I'm the admin user, if I log in with admin dot admin at memcos.com, I should be able to only view Redmond specific devices and the policies that are in a scope tag. And as well as the, I should be able to only target the applications to only two AD groups that are specific to Redmond. Now I log in as admin at memcos.com for a quick demo as an end admin. So if I click on Windows devices, as you can see, only one device is able to visible because this has a tag as Redmond. So if I just click on that device and go to the properties, I should be able to see under properties as Redmond. That's why it is actually visible. So this way you can isolate ideally all the policies, all of that. Uh, similarly, only one complaints policy, which we edited as a company owned devices because we did log in with admin at memcos.com. And this is a user who is part of your internal help desk admin for Redmond location. And even the Chrome settings also same thing. Now, if I go back to apps, so this is an application. Uh, let me zoom uh, here. I wanted to deploy this application called Adobe application. So this application also have actually tagged as a Redmond uh, without wasting time uh, in the past. So that's why it is visible for me. Now, if I try to target from assignments to a group, uh, let's take maybe in this testing case, any of the group, right? Because in the entra, it will display all the groups. So in my case, there are 100 in place groups are available. All of them also I can target, but that sh will be a biggest security risk. So we wanted to prevent that. So there's no prevention here uh, to visible to show. Instead, what I can do is, since we have scoped the grouping also, it only will allow you to you know scope to that two scoping groups which are Redmond all Redmond users as well as all Redmond devices so let's say if I target as accounts users just for testing to show you that error to you it should definitely fail and click on next and save you see here we don't have enough permissions to assign this it's that simple as that the reason being we have not scoped the groups right so that's the problem here the scoping was not done properly similar thing uh, if i try to add for uh, since it's a redmond so if i try to add all the redmond users or the group i should be able to do it so let's say redmond devices or users select and review and save it will allow me to you know assign that this is just because of the scope tagging and now uh, let me show you something else. Don't get into confused. Now, I have a Chrome or uh, Chrome settings, right? Or maybe test or back. So let's take the Chrome settings. Now, if I try to add, uh, if I try to add, uh, even the refresh itself not working properly. So if I try to add here after refreshing, uh, scope tag is Redmond. But if I try to add here assignment to Redmond only, it will not allow me. The reason being, I do not have a RBAC permissions. Don't confuse here. If you go back to RBAC permissions for Redmond help desk team, I have a permission for application deployment, not for configuration profile assignment. So in case if you are getting similar issues, 
you have to first understand whether you have really the permissions from an RBAT level and then think about the scope uh, group scoping permissions. So these are the two areas that you need to you know uh, work on it. I hope I made it very easy for you. Uh, if you really like it, give it thumbs up and you can post any kind of you know, questions that you want to ask. I would be answering all of your questions within 10 minutes. Thank you for watching this. I'll catch you in the next lecture.